All right, here is our unboxing and initial thoughts on the Gazelle T4 Plus in orange. This is the, the newly released model for 2020. They released it in June, I believe it was. Um, we, we saved up a bit for it and we were really excited to get it. So this first section is sped up. The first 37 seconds or so are sped up because we we're just taking it out of the bag, undoing the straps for the first time and kind of setting stuff aside and getting it organized. And right here, we switch to real time. And I wanted to just, just leave this section right here at real time to show just how fast it is to set up the tent, uh, especially if you're not gonna use the rain fly on a real pretty night uh, and you want to look at the stars and it's and it's obviously not going to rain on you but you know you can see you just pop that pop those panels up uh, in future times we'll we'll do the panels in a little bit different order to where it's a little different a little easier um, but this is with us pulling it out of the bag for the first time and you know not not ever putting our hands on a gazelle hub tent before this is how fast we got it up so next you're gonna see my wife walk inside and push the ceiling panels up. Uh, I didn't have the camera backed up in the frame and quite far enough to get all of that in the frame. So I'll be adjusting it here in a second once those top tops are popped up and I backed it up. Um, also there are, which you'll see it later on in the video, there's three poles that go around that front door, um, which I'm messing with right there, actually. I didn't know where they went while we were filming this. I just wanted to roll through the video and get it together. So you can see Hannah pulled the, the ceiling panels down. To put the rain fly on, those ceiling panels have to be down. Um, so, you know, you just, those poles are already installed on the rain fly. You just put them in their designated spots and push the ceiling back up. Uh, for the rest of this video, and this, this part of the video I've got sped up as well. Uh, you know, I just you know, didn't want to drag out the video any longer than it needed to be while we were rolling the panels up, rolling the windows up, things like that. Uh, that rain fly does come with stakes to pull it out uh, and stake it down. So that way you get a little bit more rain protection and wind protection. Um, right here, these full, uh, panels on this side, that's a screen room in the front, which you'll see, see later on in the video. But I mean this, we were very impressed with this tent to say the least. Um, it's just, it's very fast. Our, our other tent we had was a, a pole, pole tent you, you know you had to you all know the kind of tents that you have to fish all the poles through the little holes and make sure they stay connected and all that and you know while it's sometimes it's part of the experience whenever you're going out on a Friday evening for a weekend camping trip and it's dark by the time you get there sometimes those can be a, a start of a frustrating night so we're definitely liking this hub design a lot better um, right here I just kind of grabbed the camera and walked inside to finish showing unzipping every the window panels and, and things like that. This part is also sped up uh, just because I didn't want to draw the video out. But as you can see, this uh, it's very easy. Um, in the next section after this, it's going to go to real time and it's also going to not be a voiceover anymore. This, this beginning section was a voiceover. The next section is in person. All right, initial thoughts on this tent. Man, this tent's awesome. So um, as you saw, we the actual just setup of the tent, it was very, very fast. Um, and then the remaining of it was just kind of rolling up the windows and all that. Uh, that's what I sped through. So uh, yeah, man, I mean, literally, it was up in no time. It's gonna be really nice whenever we go on weekend camping trips and we leave on a Friday and it's getting dark where we're, where we're going and uh, we can pop this thing up real quick and go to, go to cooking and getting everything else done. With this, uh, with this screen room, I'm really glad we got the one with the screen room with this new T4 Plus. Uh, 
allows a lot a lot of airflow through there it's very hot outside right now and uh, inside the tent it's it's not very hot so we'll go ahead and go inside really strong construction super glad we got this over some of the other tents All right. so just kind of looking around in here i'm six foot tall and i've got plenty of room there's a ton of ventilation this whole ceiling is air vents now we've got the rain fly on it right now because we wanted to do a full setup of it but um yeah so these poles right here this one here this one across and down we uh we didn't have those in in the install video because we weren't exactly sure where they went we wanted to do a full just opening the box and putting it up so moving forward these these windows right here as you saw in the video they all roll down and basically you have a double room tent Lots of nice storage patches on either side. This one right here rolls down as a divider. Got a little storage loft up here. And then moving into this room, you got plenty of windows for ventilation when it's hot outside like it is down here in Louisiana. Got storage up here, storage pouches down there. Another gear loft up here. I mean, there's storage everywhere in this thing. It's very thick. I really like the tub floor design. Um, we've still got the, the paper in here. We haven't taken it out yet. But um, this floor, you can take it out and clean it. It's a tub floor design. It's really nice. But uh, I'll just give you like a little roundabout. There's another storage there. Super roomy in here. Really glad we bought this one. Thank you, Gazelle, for making an awesome, awesome tent. But um, yeah, so if you have any questions uh, for me and what we think, you can comment below and I'll try to get back with you. Um, and also, we'll go camping probably in the next you know, couple months. It's pretty hot right now, so we won't be able to make any trips right now. But yeah, as soon as we go camping, I'll give a, another review after our first camping trip.